I was dispatched to the site to run a circuit extension or DMARC extension to this rack from this DMARC. And in that top left corner is the Sienna switch. There's the circuit ID, um, suite P, and they have the new circuit on port two. I was tracing the original one, found these cables, and right here dangling is this beautiful, wonderful cable. Just so happens to have a label on it that says 48. And since there's a 48 port patch panel in the rack, I'm gonna go ahead and tone 48 in the rack to see if it goes to that cable that's labeled 48. Put the trusty toner on there. It's labeled T1, so it seems like it goes to a DMARF, but it's no longer in use, so here we go. Sniff, 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 sniff. Finding the cable, here it is. Oh, I got the tone, so that's great. We're gonna use this cable that's already ran, put the tester on it, I'm using this Klein tester. Our good fluke tester is in Charlotte with the other techs, they do a lot more cable infrastructure stuff. So testing this, there's open on the blue pair. Let me check the mod plug, everything looks good. It's not the best looking mod plug, kind of janky looking, but all the pins are seated down in proper order. So I don't think it's the mod plug. I'm gonna pull the patch panel off and see. And sure enough, white, blue, solid blue is not seated all the way in. Gave it a quick repunch, tested it. Test pass, always take a good picture showing the port you're plugged into with your tester for your client. So we went back here, routed that cable 48 into port two so that we can connect the new circuit to this secondary card, network interface card on the router. It is a secondary circuit. You can see the primaries are linked, but they do need that secondary circuit. So we got it patched in, got everything cleaned up, and this is the after photo.